you like me walk out there? Yeah. Thank you, um, because I'll be honest, Apollo, I panicked. That's what happened there. Because um, I don't know if you know, but I have to stand behind this massive screen for about five minutes before I come out. They flood it with smoke, and then you just hear a voice go, go. And then I thought, just try and walk in time to the music. I couldn't hear the music. I could just see you clapping. I assumed you were clapping in time to the music. You weren't, you were clapping me. So I ended up sort of walking out, like sort of... <laughs> never done in my life before. Just, <laughs> just because I don't think I've ever been so conscious of my own walk since, like, you know when you're a kid and you go and get school shoes for the first time <laughs> and you have to do the walk in the shop for your mum and the assistant? That's how I felt. Like, you took me back to Clark's as a six-year-old. That's what happened. <laughs> Who's that walk for, by the way? Because I it's, a, it's a, a completely mad saga from, like, beginning to end, getting your school shoes for the first time. It's a rite of passage that everybody in this room will have gone through at some point. And it's mad. I don't understand it. Because, first of all, you have to get your feet measured by the shop assistant. And that shop assistant always looks like, sort of, all of your mates' mums put together. Um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, there's a high likelihood she'll be called either Linda, Carol or Sue. Um, <laughs> which I think was the original Sugar Babes line-up. Um, <laughs> And this woman, she takes you over to get your feet measured in what looks like, I'll be honest, a handmade guillotine. <laughs> Do you remember that? You have to, like, strap them in in a plastic seat bolt, and she just sort of put a bar down to your toes, tell your mum what size you are, and then you've got to choose a pair of shoes. I say you choose a pair of shoes. You don't choose the pair of shoes. You pick from a pair of three pairs that your mum has approved, um, <laughs> all of which, like, something a town crier would wear. <laughs> child shall be bullied in year one. <laughs> <laughs> then you put this pair of shoes on. You think that's the end of it. You think that's it. Job done. When suddenly, this shop assistant, Linda slash Carol slash Sue, she just hits you with the instruction, go for a walk. <laughs> and it is at that exact point, Apollo, that you completely and utterly forget how to walk. <laughs> You're walking round a local shoe shop just sort of like a newly birthed gazelle. <laughs> Humiliating enough, she starts heckling you from across the shoe shop with really insightful questions like, How do they feel? Like shoes, Sue, you know, shoes. <laughs> they like shoes, yeah. And then your mum gets involved as well, of course she does. Every mum gets involved, and every mum does the same thing as well. I've no idea why they do this, they all do the exact same thing squeeze aside, thumb the toes. <laughs> so, squeeze aside, thumb the toes. What are you checking for? Have I lost a toe in the handmade guillotine? Is that what's happened? <laughs> 